single human being suffers. We all have pains and trials. Sometimes when we try to share those with others, it's very hard to describe. And um, one of the greatest um, parts of the suffering of pain is how it seems to isolate us from each other, <coughs> making it hard for us to feel connected. In the midst of all of our pains, uh, the question of the human heart that overflows again and again and again, which we see even in early in the Bible with the story of Job, that question of why is this happening, God? The Lord never answers until definitively with an answer that is not just a sentence, an answer that is a life, an answer that is a story, an answer that is what we just entered into with his son's passion, his son's own death, his son's own suffering with us and for us. And so we know that we are never alone in our trials. And I got my phone out because there's something I want to read to you that I forgot to print. There is um, a song that I remember listening to in my days of high school and college by Michael W. Smith that speaks so clearly about what we just reflected on, brothers and sisters, a truth that is absolutely essential for us every day of our lives to remember and to cast out any lies to the contrary. The words of the song are very simple. I have been unfaithful, I have been unworthy, I have been unrighteous, and I have been unmerciful. I have been unreachable, I have been unteachable, I have been unwilling, and I've been undesirable. And sometimes I have been unwise, I have been undone by what I'm unsure of. But because of you and all that you went through, I know that I have never been unloved. I have been unbroken, I have been unmended, I have been uneasy and I've been unapproachable. I have been unemotional, I've been unexceptional, I've been undecided and I have been unqualified. Unaware, I have been unfair, and I've been unfit for blessings from above. But even I can see the sacrifice you made for me to show that I have never been unloved. It's because of you and all that you went through that I know that I've never been unloved. This is the truth of our Lord's passion that we just heard, brothers and sisters. Jesus freely chose this. Seeing you centuries ahead of time, seeing your heart, and choosing out of love for you to endure what he endured. May we respond in kind to the love that has been poured out for us.